I'm going to be talking very knowledgeably and not at all incorrectly about the life cycles of animals and plants. Now, first things first. A life cycle is not a bicycle that you own for life. That's what Sloppy thought, but apparently that's wrong. Very wrong. Idiotic even. Oh. So, a life cycle is how animals and plants change as they get older. For example, Sloppy used to prefer chocolate ice cream, mm. but now I think I prefer Brussels sprout ice cream. <laughs> what? Uh, Brussels sprout ice cream. <laughs> Although, I don't think that's what the life cycle really means. Now, humans and animals look and act very differently. For example, dogs sniff each other's bottoms when they greet each other. <laughs> And I'm willing to bet you don't do that with your friends. And if you do, please stop it. That is so not cool. But all living creatures do have one thing in common. The life cycle! <laughs> all animals are born or hatch from eggs. Then they grow older and reproduce. Which means to have babies of their own. Legend has it. Sloppy was born in a bush! Although I'm not so sure. As a small human person, you will have been born and are growing older and older by the day, minute and second! One day, you will be an adult and will be able to have your own little human. Uh... This is the same for lots and lots of animals. But not all animals have the same life cycle. Let's look at the butterfly. What? What the? I said butterfly, not flying butter. Oh my days. Oh. When two adult butterflies reproduce, the mummy butterfly lays eggs in a safe place. Like a leaf on a tree. Doesn't sound like a very safe place to me. Sloppy could never balance on a leaf. I'm too heavy because I eat too much cake. Oh, I will never be a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Sloppy fly. Whoa! Anyway, when they hatch, they come out as caterpillars. Amazing! Caterpillars look nothing like butterflies. But after a little while, they create a sort of sleeping bag around themselves called a chrysalis. That's chris a -lis. And when they come out a few days or weeks later, they are a butterfly! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Perhaps Sloppy can make his own chrysalis and then maybe I could become a beautiful butterfly! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I did it! I did it! I'm a chrysalis! And so I got to become a beautiful butterfly! <laughs> oh. So, when the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, it flies away to find another butterfly to reproduce with and lay more eggs. And the whole process starts again. The life cycle in action. This process, when an animal goes through a big physical change to its body as it develops into an adult, is called metamorphosis. That's metamorphosis. Think of it like morphing into something else. <gasps> like the Power Rangers! Humans, however, don't change very much at all. So don't expect to go changing into your cat or anything. <laughs> you don't have any ex-human cat friends, do you, Snuffles? Charming. Plants are also living things, so they too have a life cycle. There are loads of different types of plants in the world. Can you name some? 
trees, flowers, vegetables, fruits, eggplants, nuclear power plants. What? Okay, scratch that last one. <laughs> See ya. Most plants begin their life as a seed or as a bulb. These seeds or bulbs can be planted by people, by animals, or by the wind. <laughs> Not that type of wind. Seeds need water to start growing, and this process is called germination. That's germination. Now I know what you're thinking. But it's got nothing to do with those nasty germs that make us sick. It also has nothing to do with the country Germany. <laughs> oh, so many words with germ in them. Oh, Sloppy so confused. <laughs> when plants begin the process of germination, they grow roots down into the soil to find more water. And they grow shoots out of the ground to find sunshine to help them grow. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! Give it a rest. These plants will then grow leaves and maybe even flowers, fruits, or vegetables, which will in turn grow their own seeds. These seeds will be spread by animals, people, or the wind. <laughs> I said not that sort of wind. Once the seeds are spread, they begin to germinate. Ah, remember that word? And the whole cycle is complete. Sweet! So now we know all about the different life bicycles of animals and plants. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, life cycles, yeah, yeah. Before I go, I want to know what animal you would turn yourself into if you could? Post your answers in the comments below! Sloppy wouldn't mind being a beautiful butterfly so I could soar through the air with colorful wings! Although, I'm not fussed about that sleeping bag part. It took me three hours to get out of that chrysalis and I hurt my bottom! Oh. Am I going to become a beautiful butterfly? <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm better off being hairy old orange me. How many of you would like to turn into sloppy? Let me tell you, it's not an easy life. Have a look at my life cycle. Brussels sprout ice cream. work in my sloppy life cycle, I can tell you! <laughs> oh, it's time for my afternoon nap. See ya! Yo! I 